Hi, I'm Hartwood and thank you very much for tuning in. Today we are going to talk about why you should definitely underworld your laptop. If you like the video, you know what to do. And any sub is very appreciated. If you've got questions, I'll try to answer all of them in the comments. I can just assure you there's practically absolutely no risk in doing it. In fact, your laptop might even survive a few years longer since if you put less voltage on your CPU, it's not going to um, tear down that fast and it's, it's just probably staying cooler all the time and um, so it might survive a little bit longer. I will only talk about undervolting Intel cores today because most of laptops have an i5, i7 or i3 and we're going to use the Intel Extreme Tuning Utility today which is um, only available for Intel processors um, but most laptops actually have one of these. If you want to undervolt a AMD laptop, you would have to um, use the also free software uh, Throttle Stop, um, which you can find online. Go just Google it. Um, it's uh, working very similar, and the procedure is absolutely the same. In my case, we are going to do this with a Lenovo IdeaPad Y700, which tends to get a bit hot. But um, also for every other laptop out there, undervolting might just stop your laptop from uh, throttling, temperature throttling. So that's a good thing, right? Make sure to download and install the latest version of Intel's Extreme Tuning Utility and open it up. Once open, just head over to the All Controls setting. And here you have to adjust the core voltage offset to a negative value. What this does is, it kind of reduces the power your CPU gets or consumes without any reduce in performance, which will also drastically lower your CPU's heat output. For my Lenovo Y700, the difference when running Prime 95 is a unbelievable 13 degrees Celsius. And in CPU heavy games like Assassin's Creed Origins, the difference is still a respectable 7 to 8 degrees. As in a laptop, GPU and CPU usually share the heat spreader. This means you could probably use the temperature reduction to further overclock your graphics card. As a recommendation, I would try to start with minus 70 or minus 100 millivolt. And if your laptop crashes or reboots, don't panic. It will automatically reset itself to the standard value. Just try minus 50 millivolts instead then. If it does crash you should now open the stress test tab, start the CPU stress test and see if your system is still stable and not crashing. I would highly recommend to also run Prime95 and some graphical tool like MSI Combustor or a benchmark for a while to ensure your CPU is still working properly. If it remains stable, you are free to further lower the voltage in minus 10 millivolt steps and repeat the recommended stability tests until you reach a point where your system reboots or freezes. As for my laptop, the maximum under voltage I can apply is an insane mi minus 170 millivolt and your laptop might not get beyond minus 50 or 60 millivolt, but it might as well go even lower, which is what you have to find out for your very own system. Basically, in contrast to overclocking, undervolting is absolutely safe and might even be considered to be good for your laptop as you reduce the heat output and probably extend your CPU's lifetime. It will also reduce power consumption, especially under load, and therefore really allow for a longer battery duration. By the way, you won't need to apply the undervolting every time you start your computer as it will automatically apply your adjusted value after a manual reboot or shutdown. I would definitely recommend to undervolt your laptop in almost any case as you just will save battery life, will save power consumption and your laptop is going to get less hot which is always a good thing, right? So, alright, that was my short video about undervolting your laptop. I hope you like it. Once again, if you did, I would really appreciate 
likes and subs. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye bye.